the conversation that's been coming up with friends, family, colleagues, especially publishing partners is your DNA. And especially with the publishing partners, it's in the context of everybody's creating a community of, yeah, creating a community. And so it's the DNA of your community members. And so this has been the topic of the week because I feel like it's, this is a, a hack and I rarely use that word and I'd like to find a word that resonates with me more, but like a shortcut in a way, it really is. Because if we get our DNA right, it solves so many marketing problems like this. And I'll explain why. Uh, number one, there's this quote by Naval Ravikant. Uh, hear me quote him all the time, prolific Silicon Valley investor, wise man. And he's got this quote that is uh, a little judgy, I feel like, uh, but I feel the spirit of it. And the quote is, and this is what I've been sharing with people all week too. It's been coming up. The quote is, if you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. If you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. Because if you have to explain and convince in this, it's like, well, the marketing should educate it in, um, beforehand and connected with them and just communicate to them the clear value of, the, you know, of, the, of what you're selling. So this quote is, if you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. If you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. And there's actually a, a third part of the quote. So if you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. And if you're marketing, you're not doing product right. If you're selling, you're not doing marketing right. And if you're marketing, you're not doing product right. So that philosophy is go to the root cause and make sure the product is a match for the audience, for the ideal client. And the more that it's a match, who needs to be sold on something that they want and need? And that's matched for them. So that's the thing that I think about. That's been on the conversation of everybody this week. And when it comes to building your audience and following our own path of purpose, passion, and cash, having that match up with that product market fit is important. So why that pertains to today is the more we can get the product to match the ideal client, the less marketing spend and explaining you have to do, the less time on sales calls and explaining you have to do, the more that it's already a match right away. And people are like, okay, maybe I got a few questions, but like, I want and need this. And so how we get to that product market match, a key piece that I've found is getting really clear on the DNA of the ideal client the DNA of the community. And I'm showing this example here because this is where I first learned it from with uh, Yannick Silver's Maverick community. And so that was part of it is what is a Maverick? You know, and they put their Maverick DNA. And as you can read here, it's very clear, you know, and you can either resonate with it or not. And uh, if you don't, you know right away. And if you do, you know right away, okay, let me step in further and take a look at this. Because usually marketing spends so much money trying to get people's attention, jumping up and down, using the different colors, so much money to get people's attention to, to help people, uh, to help try and get people to see what's unique about the program, to stand out, number one. Number one, marketing is trying to stand out from the crowd. Uh, and when you have the DNA like this, it immediately stands out from the crowd. So maybe you're looking at 10 different masterminds and you see, oh, this mastermind, this is the DNA of the people in this mastermind. You can instantly see, okay, is this for me or is it not? And that's what marketing tries to solve, which is be unique. Why is the program different? And number two, why the program is a match for you. And those are the questions that are always going through the prospect's mind, I believe, you know, subconsciously or consciously, which is, why is this program different from all the thousands of other programs? Why is this product different than all the other thousands of products? Number one. And number two, is it for me? Is it going to vibe with me, my experience, my style? And when we really dial in the DNA, it solves those instantaneously. And that's been the powerful concept that's really been connecting with our publishing partners. And 
this has been an important piece all along, but it was always thought of as like a, I don't know, like a nice to have or like something you put somewhere on your website. And one of my previous clients, when we were working together, he started or yeah, he started marketing it, putting it at the front of his marketing, put it at the front of his LinkedIn post, put it at the front of his marketing. And things started blowing up because he would ask a different example than this, but he'd ask, are you a unicorn universe is the example. So you'd say, are you, are you a unicorn? This is our DNA. If this is you comment below. If you know of any unicorns in your network, tag them. And what happens is the posts blow up. People commenting, this is me. People tagging their friends, their colleagues, like, whoa, this is you. It's insane. And it's cutting through the noise at the core of what's the heartbeat of the community. What's the heartbeat of the, the members? So this, to wrap this all up, is a incredibly powerful technique. Um, I wouldn't even say technique. I'd say just like pillar of product design. Uh, another way of just saying that is a pillar of aligning yourself, founder product market fit. We're aligning yourself with the product, with the business that you're meant to deliver to the world. And then with the people that are hungry and excited for what you have. And as that lines up, purpose lines up, what you're here to do, passion lines up, what you love to do, and cash lines up because it's what people are excited to pay for. Purpose, passion, and cash. So, and that's what I've been finding is that as we do this, it simplifies all these complex campaigns and content, blah, 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 blah. Also just simplifies to get the DNA out, share the good word, just share the DNA. And the people who are meant to find it, find it. So what we'll do today is subconscious release and the flow state experience to release any confusion around not seeing, you know, the DNA for your community, DNA for your, your program, your ideal client. Uh, so confusion, any resistance, any resistance of maybe being seen or feeling like you got to guard that part of yourself. Maybe it's, this is the true essence of who you are and who your community is. So maybe there's a little resistance of maybe some, some time in the past when you really showed your heart fully and somebody was like, oh, I don't like that or said something, whatever. And I was like, oh, that hurt. Let me close it again. So, because this is really putting your heart and self out there in a powerful way that's going to resonate with the people that it's meant to. And it's also going to repel the people that it's not, which is great because then it saves everybody else time. So, release, uh, release any confusion, any fog, mental fog, any resistance to taking action with this, and any resistance of even believing that your people are out there the people that your business is meant to serve uh, are out there. It can, it can feel at times like, oh, there's nobody out there. Where are they at? But instead being like, what if they're around you right now? That's what I believe. And that's what I've been seeing with publishing partners, self-included, is that through gratitude, we open our eyes, through appreciation, we strengthen our spine and we see around us that which was already there waiting for us.